Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my Yorkshire Terrier Ellie. And we are going to have a good time today. We're on about an hour early today and I appreciate you popping by. If you miss it, you can watch it again. You can watch the replay. I know it's different because I usually do come on at four o'clock. <laughs> She's excited because I gave her a cookie uh, a few minutes ago just to get her kind of excited about coming on. And um, there's another one sitting here for her to look at. So I thought that might keep her a little bit excited. So I hope all my people remember to come at three o'clock, but they will see it after. Oh, there's a couple people on. Okay, good. Thank you so much for for popping on and being willing to switch today uh, to three o'clock Pacific. I know back east that's six o'clock and uh, some of the different time zones. Marsha Long, Tina, Roz, good to see you guys. Carol Schaefer, thank you so much for coming on at a different time. I really appreciate it. And she's excited because I gave her already one I thought I'd get her all excited for you guys so that you could see that she actually doesn't just sit around and <laughs> all the time. There, now she's a happy girl. She got a bath today. Ann Sawson from West Virginia, good to see you. Yeah, she had a bath. She's all fluffy. Let me see if I can show you. She has so much hair. Look at how fluffy she is. It's just, she's only seven pounds, but she's all fluff especially right after I give her a give her a bath and we I blow her hair dry with the blow dryer. Jeanne, good to see you. Um, so she's had a bath and a blow dry and she's all pretty for the weekend and ready for her nap. <laughs> How are you guys? Happy Friday to all of you. It's Friday is always a good day. I hope you're ready for your weekend. Thank you, Marcia. Just a little bit different today. Both Ellie and I have different hairdos today. Um, so what are you guys going to be doing this weekend? I hope you're going to be doing a little stamping. That's what I plan to do. No classes, just a little bit of stamping. Um, and I have some fun stuff planned for us today. So I'm actually going to put Ellie down. I know it's kind of fast, but I'm going to go ahead and put her down so that we can uh, spend more time on our project. And she'll be happy. Thank you, Roz. Snickers gets a trip to the groomer once a month. Too hot for that much hair. Yeah, I know. In the hot weather, it is hard for her, but we do have air conditioning, so that's a good thing. Okay, what do I want to talk about? I want to talk about different... Um, newsy things and you all know about the designer series paper sale 15% off 13 different designer series papers and you know I was thinking about it today I wanted to feature a different paper um, and I still will be fe featuring other different papers throughout the throughout the month but I uh, today I'm featuring again bright and beautiful I just can't get myself off of this paper because it's so pretty it has so many pretty colors that we really like and today we're actually going to make a patriotic card but it's going to be a fun fold that i'm going to show you how to make and i'm going to use there is in here well there are a lot of stars in here in this paper okay a lot of stars for birthdays and fun stuff hi linda good to see you so if you want something with stars we're going to use another one of the star papers um, for our project today but anyway great deal 15 percent off um, this month so get a couple grab snag up a couple if you can let me put this right back in my little place here so i don't misplace that beautiful paper i love it i love it love it okay the starter kit all of you know about the starter kit how many um yeah, the name says it all, bright and beautiful. You're exactly right, Roz. How many of you are demonstrators here on this, on our, thank you, Linda, here on our uh, video tonight, our Facebook Live? How many of you are demonstrators? Because you guys can really, um, you can really kind of testify or tell of how fabulous it is to be a demonstrator. 
because right now we are having a starter kit special. So instead of the normal $125 that you pay, $125, you get $99 worth of product. And so that would be $26 free product and it all ships free. Right now, during the month of June, you get $155 worth of free product. That's $56 of free product. Okay, Marsha and Linda, you are not demonstrators. Um, Tina is, I know Roz is, um, I'm pretty sure Roz is. There are, the, the biggest benefit is 20% off. Okay, after you get your starter kit, it's 20% off everything you buy. And that can work up to 25% off. I get 25% off, but it doesn't take too long to get up there. And most of my gals are hobby demonstrators. They do it for the fun. They do it for themselves. And I wrote down a little note um, in my notes for tonight. I said, do something nice for yourself. This is something nice to do for yourself, to be able to um, get the products at 20% off. You know, that is just a big, a really big deal. We also get early notice of catalogs and the online exclusives. We get to order everything early. Um, we get to find out a bunch of fun stuff. I mean, Anne, you're not a demonstrator. Okay, Kathy isn't. I just want to tell you that if you ever thought about it, this is a great time because it's a good starter kit special. You know, if you want to stay for a long time, there are requirements, but most of my sales wise, but most of my hobby demonstrators buy their own. They just do it for themselves. They just buy their own stuff. It's $300 per quarter, but the quarter that you join in right now you don't have to meet that requirement. And so if you join now, you're in through October, September really, but uh, they have a pending month. And so all during that time, you could get all the benefits of being a demonstrator um, and you would, and it would be fabulous, 20% off everything. You get to be on my team of sweet stampers. You get advance notice. You would get, if you join now, you get advance notice and pre-ordering of the holiday mini. So there are just so many things. If you love Stampin' Up, um, I did it and I've never looked back, but you definitely don't have to do what I do. I just have a ton of fun doing it. And I'm so glad that you guys do too. Tina, it is a great deal. It, it really is a great deal. And um, I, love my, I love my sweet stampers. I have a wonderful team. Actually, my entire team, um, is 47. I, it just grows. It keeps growing. And I love my gals. They're wonderful. Uh, Jeanne is a demo. Okay. It's good to see which it's an, it's that we, it's nice that we have a smattering of both because, um, it's fun. I, I was telling someone the other day, this is my most fun thing is to do my Facebook lives because I get to interact with so many wonderful people. So thank you all. Um, okay, well, the last part of news, and then we're going to get to our, our card for today. The last part of news is that uh, beginning Sunday, I'm not quite ready. Thank you, Linda. But beginning Sunday, I'm going to be announcing um, a class to go, a class card kit, class to go. And I just wanted to get you excited. It's going to be a cupcake class to go. I'm just going to leave you with that and let you ponder a little bit how we're going to have a cupcake class to go. And um, if you watch the Facebook page and my blog um, and uh, Instagram, I'll be announcing it on Sunday, my cupcake class to go. I'm really excited about it. I'm working on it. It's not quite ready, so it'll be ready by Sunday. Okay, I'm going to turn you down and show you what we're going to do today, what our project is for today. Da -da. It's a patriotic card because we're getting close to Tracy. Good to see you. Um, we're getting close to the 4th of July. But as you know, as I always do, and I'm going to get my glasses on here. As I always do, you don't have to make it a patriotic card. You can make it, um, I'm showing you kind of a fun fold. It's kind of an angled fun fold and it just opens like that. I put that... I'm going to confess. I put that star on the back because I accidentally got a dimensional up there that wasn't supposed to be, so I just put a star on it. <laughs> okay, secret. Don't tell anyone. 
But you know, that's what we do. What if we make a little boo-boo, we just fix it, right? So I'm going to show you how to make this card and you can use it, you know, obviously I've decorated it for the 4th of July, but you don't have to. It can be, you know, this is a year round fun fold card that is fun. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we're going to use. We're going to use two stamp sets. We're going to use handmade hugs because it has today we celebrate and I am not going to use the little word you. So that's going to be our sentiment today we celebrate. So it could be you know, it could be anything, but I've made it into a patriotic card. And then we have this new stamp set called Little Dreamers. I actually started out making a baby card, and then I thought, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for 4th of July. So I'm using this little um, kind of star that's flying in from the edge. It's just so cute. So we're going to use that today. And another time we'll make a cute baby card from this darling set, Little Dreamers. So those are the stamp sets we're using. And for dies today, we are using stylish shapes. You know, if some of you um, were disappointed that we got rid of the circle dies, um, this has some great circle dies and they're stitched and I'm going to use the biggest circle die here and you know I meant to check because for a while I know they were out of these um, and they were they don't call it back order but um, so I haven't checked to see if they're if they're in thank you Linda yeah um, so these are fabulous and we're going to use this die right here so it has these fabulous label dies it has the square dies and the circle dies and they're all stitched so um, if they're around because they people love these stylish shapes dies and I put them on these um, magnet cards and I just recently got these neat plastic covers from Stampin Storage I don't um, I don't like sell their stuff or anything, but I buy it. <laughs> I buy it. So let's start making our card because I wanted to show you how to cut the card so that you'll know how to do it for yourself. And here's the pretty uh, star paper that we're going to use from the Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper that's on sale now. Alrighty. So we've got a standard eight and a half by five and a half card base. And we're going to, to begin with, we're going to go ahead and um, fold and burnish it on the fold line. That's what we need to do to cut it in that triangle shape, that the front triangle. So I'm going to get out my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. I'm going to push the um, embossing or, yeah, blade up out of the edge and um, I'm going up over, so we're not going to use that, and I'm just going to use the cutting blade, which is the dark gray one. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the card. This is the front. So this is the part you want to pay attention to if you're going to recreate this. And so here's the front of our card, and our goal is to cut a triangle coming down like that. And it's not too hard. We just, this is your, this little um, place right inside that dark gray there's a little groove in there and that's like the cutting groove so I want to get my fold line on the cutting groove there and I want to get this tip down here let me see if I can do it so that you can see it okay the fold line in the groove or over the groove and the tip down here on the groove and that's all you need to do and then you hold it and put your uh, plastic cover down and just let me make sure yeah and just cut and there you go now you've got that card that we looked at so perfect now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the same well actually what we're going to do this is our designer series paper I'm going to cut an entire inside okay I'm I'm just going to have that little area right there for writing for us to sign our names and whatnot. So I think I want this up above and showing. So let me see. I think I'm going to turn it over and do like this. I want to cut it the exact size of the inside of the card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. <laughs> Get that little half in there. Okay, and let me turn it over and see if I got those. Yeah, I wanted the darker 
the darker stars up on the top. Now I'm going to cut it again just a hair on the side because we are fitting it, that was a real hair, because we are fitting it on the inside of the card and um, I want to leave room for the fold. So that'll leave a little bit of room for the fold. Let me pull that off there. I think I'm going to cut just a hair a bit more. You know, a hair. <laughs> There, I think that should do it. There we go, that's better. Okay, and that will allow it to fit, and I'll show you. Here's our card, and the thing is if we had, if we didn't cut the little hair bit out, it would, it would crinkle right in that area. So because we did, when we put it on, it's gonna be, it's a little short, but that's okay, because we have a nice fold and nobody notices that it's just like, a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch short in there. So we can go ahead and glue this down right now. And I wanted to make sure to get those darker stars up on the top because um, I just kind of like the dark stars. I wanted them to show. And then the easy way to do this is pick up your card and just pull all of those corners to fit right along just like that. And there we go. So already we've got part of it done, right? Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is I did go ahead and pre-cut a piece for the inside. And what I did is I cut a piece four and a half by three and a half. And it's going to fit right on the inside like this. Um, because I didn't want any chance of it showing out. So what I'm going to do is stamp it with that cute little stamp that I showed you from the baby stamp set, which is called Little Dreamers. And we'll go ahead and get that stamped while we're thinking about it. So we'll just put that little kind of a flying star. Isn't that cute? I just think that's so cute. Okay, so let's see how we're doing now. Okay, um, I think I might hold off on gluing this in because I'm going to go ahead and do the red stripes next. So now we have, we want to put red stripes here. So what I've done, my colors, the color of cardstock that I'm using is blueberry bushel. Here's one of my circles for blueberry bushel and I'm using sweet sorbet. I think it's such a pretty red. I, I kind of... It's not Christmas time, and so I'm not using real red, I'm using sweet sorbet. And I've cut some strips one half inch wide, and all I'm gonna do is put them, we're gonna start this way, we're gonna go ahead and glue them right on our front. Um, there's another way we can do it, and let me ponder now, because this is the way I did it to begin with on my other card, my sample card, is I actually glued them on this the other piece that I cut out, right? That piece there. And then I could adhere it here, and that way I could get all the trimming done right. So you know what, I think I'm gonna do that again. It worked out really well for me, so I think I'll do it. It's a little bit easier because it's a bit easier to trim all the strips. So these are half inch strips of sweet sorbet, and then I'm just gonna add very little glue okay because we don't want to mess with a bunch of glue coming out and making a big mess we just want a very little bit of glue right along this edge to get it started okay hi Kay so we're going to put that right up along that edge and this is the longest piece that you're going to need because it spans the entire um, would it be called the diameter of the rectangle? The entire angled length of the rectangle, okay. So we're just gonna leave that like that. And then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use another long one, just because I don't wanna be short, and put it right in here. Now this time I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on the strip. and we're going to you just leave the space you want to leave. I'm gonna leave about that much, as long as you're consistent all the way down. Okay, that's the main thing. Just be consistent all the way along. 
with your strips. I did pretty well with that glue. Okay, now we can go into the smaller strips and we'll put one right about here. It's, you know, it's really easy. It's, it's just easy. You don't, you know, some people want to measure and all that and I could measure, whoops, but I don't know. I'm in a mood to just estimate tonight. Oh, I got a little dot of glue on there. Okay. Isn't that looking pretty? It's looking pretty good. And then we'll put our last one on. You know what I should have put? Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab this because I am getting my, my little pad messed up. I'll get one of my rubber silicone mat. There we go. Now I can press it down and not worry. Okay, I should have had that in the beginning. And then I'm going to put this one right across there. And of course you can do this with any color or you can just put designer series paper if you don't want to make a patriotic card. So just like that. And then we're just going to give those a few minutes to dry and then we're going to trim those edges. That's what I like about um, not doing it on the actual card because this way I can get my scissors and do a nice little trim job. Hi Kathy. Yeah. I agree. It's a good way to do the card. Okay, so we can see that um, I'm glad I got my rubber pad out because I've got a little bit of glue in there. All right, so now we're just going to trim, and it's very easy to trim those off. Get off there. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're just having fun on a Friday. Having fun making cards on a Friday. I'll have to clean my scissors later. Do you know how to clean your scissors if you get glue and everything? You can use um, antibacterial hand gel or you can use rubbing alcohol on a, I just use it on a Kleenex. I just have a little thing of rubbing alcohol handy right here, a little jar. And if I get glue on my scissors or my bone folder or kind of anything, I just use that rubbing alcohol. Or if I want it to smell really nice, I use the um, Bath and Body Works antibacterial hand gel. And that will keep your little area nice and clean. Okay, let's scoop these up and get them out of the way here. And look at that pretty striped triangle. Isn't that kind of nice? Okay, and so now all we need to do is adhere it to the front. I think it's easier to do it this way than to actually put your stripes on this piece. I really do. I think it's much easier because you can get your, your red striped pieces um, trimmed a lot better. Oh, I did get quite a bit of glue in there. My goal is a thin line, but sometimes I get it a little more than I want. Okay. Just turn this over and put that right in there. And then we'll, the best way to do it is just lift it up and, you know, check your corners. And that looks really nice. And there's the ba the beginning of your card. I mean, now you can do anything right. Isn't that bright and pretty? Um, school colors oh, for a graduation. Oh, you have alcohol wipes, Carol. I do have, um, I have wipes, but for some reason I just use pure alcohol and it seems to work out well, but I could try the wipes. Okay, so now we're basically ready. And now we do have our little inside piece. We can go ahead and adhere this down. And again, this was a three and a half by four and a half rectangle and then cut at this, the same kind of angle, the same way I cut the, the front of the card. So we're just gonna put that in there. And this way we know that our, our front is gonna cover that. We have no doubt, because otherwise I was afraid that I would have my white area coming up too high and it might peek through. You don't wanna do that. All right, now let's get working on our circle, our pretty circle. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and bring up our 
mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and I've got the largest of the circles from the stylish shapes dies and I'm just going to go ahead and um, die cut this. I cut a scrap of paper just perfect and we'll just run this baby through just like that. Okay. And I just love, again, the fact that that is stitched. And if you wanted to use the outside, you've got the outside that's stitched too. I guess I could have cut it neater and then I would have had a pretty square, but I didn't. Okay. And I went ahead and cut, uh, or punched rather, with the 2 and 3 8 inch circle punch, a blueberry bushel circle. And I'm going to use um, a dimensional, a couple dimensionals to hold that up. Whoops. I think I'll use three on there. Because now I'm going to layer upward. Everything else was glued flat, but this is going to be layered upward. So let's see if we can get this kind of right in the center here. Okay. And now we're going to create our... Um, sentiment. So I've got a scrap piece here and this is our sentiment that says today we celebrate you but I'm going to show you how to get the you off with a die with by cutting it with a die. So today we celebrate you and I'm stamping in in sweet sorbet ink. So here we go. It's a nice font, two fonts, combination of fonts. Becky, it is a beautiful blue. Anthony, good to see you from London. How are you doing? How's the weather over there? Okay, so I'm going to show now how to use this die to um, take off the word you. And it's really easy because the die itself just goes over today. We the words today we celebrate. Um, let me just get it a little closer to my face so I can see because you do need to pay a little bit of attention to get it just right because you've got to get all the letters in celebrate and you've also got to get the top of that T that has a little cross on it you know a little the little line that crosses okay here we go we'll see how this turns out I have an extra scrap piece if I want to do it over but let's see It came out just right. Today we celebrate. I like it. I like it. And that way we don't have to, that way it can be, Anthony, we're making a 4th of July card. Um, you, That's our Independence Day. You already know that. And so I thought we'd make a 4th of July card since if you're going to send a 4th of July card, you kind of have to get it ready about now. And I'm just going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of our sentiment, like this. And we'll put this over our circle in the center. So there we have today we celebrate. And here is our, is our card that opens like this. So we're going to put this on. And now we're also going to stamp that little flying star. Let's get that little guy stamped. Now the flying star again is from the Little Dreamers uh, stamp set and it does not, I don't think it has dies. I'm not sure. If it does I didn't get the dies. Um, it may have dies. I'll have to go back and look. But I just decided for something this, this cute and little I can just cut this little guy out all by himself just like this. You know, Anthony, I wanted to ask you, oh good, you're hitting 80 degrees. Oh boy, you're hot, you're warm. We're just in the 70s here, but I know some parts of the US are a little bit warmer. Oh, you guys back east, talk to me. Do you have, um, do any of you have the smoke from Canada? Um, I don't know, I know I heard it was coming quite further down, down the coast, let me know, Linda. Uh, 68 and raining in Pennsylvania. Do you have any? Do you have any of the smoke, Linda? 
my son lives in Massachusetts and they have had the smoke. Let me know, you guys. I'm very concerned. I'm very sorry about that. We have fires out here, so I, I definitely know what it's like. And I'm, I'm just so sorry for you guys. I'm sorry for the people in Canada who are having the fires. It's, it's terrible. Let me see. Crazy hot here. Roz, the mid-90s. Okay. Linda, yes, you did have a bad smoke day. Kay, okay, good. Sunny, no, no problems there in North Carolina yet. Because they did mention that the smoke might be moving down. I think you guys are all warmer than we are here. We're still in our June gloom. Cloudy with a little sun in the afternoon. Okay, I'm going to put my little flying star coming up right here. And let me see how I did that on my sample. Yeah, I just glued it. Okay, we'll just glue our little flying star. And we'll just put a little bit of glue right there and tuck him under this area like he's just flying up, just like that. Okay, and now the trick is get it on here with dimensionals without getting them on the inside. You don't want to get them on the inside or your card will stick together. So that's the trick. Um, so I'm going to do it a little bit of a different way today. I'm going to hold my circle where I want it to be. And I think I'll just make a little motion with my finger and then maybe I can get it right. Okay, and the other one would be right about in here. And let's see, oh, where did that go? Okay, and I think that is gonna work. Let me test it first. Yep, that's gonna work, okay. That's what you have to work, watch out for when you do these cards that are only halfway across the front. You don't wanna have a dimensional showing behind. Carol, are you asking me? Um, am I originally from California? I am. I was born in Pasadena, and my kids call me the little old lady from Pasadena. <laughs> they didn't when I was younger, but now they kind of do. <laughs> so there is the, the front of our card, the inside of our card. Now we're going to add just a few little um, sequins. And this is from the Adhesive Back Sequence Trio Pack. Pretty Peacock Berry Burst in white. And it's the white ones that I'm going to use. <laughs> I know, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> yep, I was born in Pasadena. Okay, so we're going to put just... You could also put some uh, rhinestone gems, I think would be pretty. Um, rhinestones might sparkle a little bit more. But I was kind of thinking of you know, flat. Um, flat is better to mail if you can keep them flat. Um, so I just put three on there. And now let's put our little flying star on the envelope. I think that's kind of cute too. We'll just get that on the envelope. Isn't that a cute stamp, that little flying star? I have a feeling I'm going to use it a lot. Okay, so there's our card for today. And, you know, you can use this card um, design, this fold, kind of the triangle, for just anything. I think, I mean, it would be a super cute birthday card or just anything. I think it's a, but I like the way the stripes kind of accent the angle. Um, and I hope if you if you have a, you know, if you're going to send a 4th of July card, this would be a great one to send. Yeah, Anthony, I know. That little flying star is just a real cute little thing. Okay, let's come bring you back up and we'll do a, our prize drawing. There you are. Good to see you. Okay, so from last week, our prize was ribbon, the ribbon that was kind of my favorite ribbon with the last year's catalog, the one quarter inch seam, crinkled seam binding that you can color any color. And um, the winner, the random number generator, picked Becky Schlossnagel. Becky, congratulations. I am so glad you're going to get this because let me put it back over here. 
you're going to be able to use it a lot. You know, you know how much if you were watching me during those during la the last year's catalog time, I use this constantly. I colored this ribbon. I'm not it's it's all sealed up because it's a brand new uh, spool. But um, you can color this with Stampin' Blends and just make it any color you want. I think it, I think you're gonna love it. Um, so congratulations, Becky, and I'm pretty sure I have your address. It doesn't hurt to email me, Peggy at prettypapercards.com, um, because that that confirms I do have your right address, but I, I think I have it. And then the prize for next week is a grouping of three birthday cards, and I decided I'm not going to open it. They have envelopes. I'm just going to show you this cute first card. It's really a cute one. So that'll be the prize that you're drawing for for next week. And thank you guys so much for stopping by and thanks for coming early today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Make cards, enjoy, and watch on Sunday because it, I'll be um, showing my cupcake class that you'll be able to take. And I think you'll be pleasantly 